Mount Rainier is an active volcano in Washington state. Over the past week, it's had hundreds of small earthquakes, what's considered a swarm by the experts at the USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. And they say this swarm does not mean that the volcano is currently going towards an eruption. That's the big takeaway here. But how do they know? Let's talk a little bit about volcanic activity and volcano monitoring. So Mount Rainier is one of five active volcanoes in Washington state. What we mean by active is that it has erupted since the end of the last ice age, about 10,000 years ago. Now, some of these volcanoes have erupted more recently than others, looking at you, Mount St. Helens, but all of them have, and all of them have the potential to erupt again, even if it's not in our lifetimes, which is why we need to understand these volcanoes and prepare for them, and why they're so well monitored so that we can get as much advance warning before an eruption as possible, which is what we're seeing right now. So when we talk about active volcanoes, probably the best analogy we can all be familiar with is these volcanoes are sleeping, something that we do once a day, if we're lucky. Now, if these volcanoes are sleeping, what is Mount Rainier doing and what did it do in 2009? It snored. And in 2009, at least, it didn't wake itself up by snoring. Not that I know anybody who's ever done that, but moving on. So how do we tell that these earthquakes are not going to lead to an eruption? Well, earthquakes are one sign that is monitored for volcanic eruptions, but they're not the only one. And currently we're not seeing any other signs other than earthquakes. And the scientists at CVO and PNSN are also seeing that these earthquakes are indicative of uh, hot water moving through faults that have already existed in the volcano. So it's not magma moving into the volcano and breaking new rock, which would be necessary for them to indicate that the volcano is moving towards an eruption. So some changes that would be concerning that USGS has assured us about. Um, Bigger earthquakes, that would be a concerning sign. Earthquakes moving up in the volcano, all of these have stayed at about the same depth. They need to actually get to the surface in order to erupt. Um, and these earthquakes have happened without any deformation. If magma was moving into the volcano, it would actually inflate it, kind of like pushing air into a balloon. So these are things that are not happening at the same time. Um, a couple other parameters to look for. You need to watch and see if there's any new gases coming out of the volcano, because if magma moves up, gas comes with it, um, or if there's a change in the types of gases that come out of this volcano. Um, also, some things you might notice are stream temperatures or stream chemistry changing, just in a way that is not the same as seasonal changes. It's getting warmer, the streams could get warmer from that, but it's we're looking for things that are off normal. That's why it's so important to monitor these volcanoes over a period of decades, like CVO has been doing. So if anything changes at the volcano and if it starts moving towards an eruption, the best place to learn about that, because being informed is the most important part of this, will be through the Volcano Notification Service, a free subscription from the USGS. Um, if this moves into a state of advisory, which might mean it's moving towards eruption, which would mean that they see something that is abnormal, one of those signs I just talked about. Uh, and if you're not signed up for that, one other thing I highly recommend is signing up for your local subscription from your emergency management service at your county or city level if you have one there. Um, and you can find links to both of these services that are offered for free at mill.wa.gov alerts. Thing is, if anything is happening, whether it's a volcanic eruption or a flood or a fire, or these much more common things that are happening, you can't do anything about it if you don't know what's happening. So staying informed is a really critical part of being prepared. So stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe out there. Let the experts keep watching the volcano and we'll tell you what's going on. Thank you.